Eddie the Eagle here. I just want to say the very, very best of luck to your boxing. Go out, represent Ayotrea. Good luck, mate. Thank you so much for your time, Eddie. Take care, bro. Hey, good evening, everyone. Just finished work. Gave myself an early finish tonight. It's like 9.20. It's the earliest I've finished in a while. I'm not even a while, a long time. That is the earliest finish in a long time. Just watching out for the bus. So, little video message to Sonny Edwards. This is the last video message this year. I don't want to bore anyone, but listen, what did I say? I knew this would happen. Obviously, he's got a fight coming up. I don't want to start saying anything stupid. Do I think Sonny Edwards is scared of me? No, of course not. Why would he be? When you... See, this is the problem. I don't mean to take any personal shots, but this is the problem with a lot of these porky fan idiots who sit there at home smoking weed, watching pornography all day. When you've boxed, when you've, when you've sparred as many people as I have or as Sonny has, and obviously me and Sonny are different levels, you know, he's obviously boxed at a very high level, I haven't. But when you've had as many sparring sessions and as many fights as he has had, I mean, you're not going to fear people. Like with me, I'm, I'm not really scared of people. Obviously, I know when someone's too much for me, I'm not stupid. I mean, you take someone like Golovkin or Javante Davis, these guys will probably do damage to me. But Sonny, you know, he's much smaller, doesn't punch very hard, hasn't got any killer instinct. I'm not scared of him. And obviously he's not scared of me, why would he be? He's obviously, you know, he's spied people. I assume he's probably spied people that are bigger than me, so I don't think for one second he's scared of me. But, you know, the guy's got a fight coming up. And, you know, I'm, I'm gonna miss the bus just to finish this video. Look bus is there but I just want to just get this video done so he's not scared of me but he's got a, a world class he's got a world class title fight coming up and he just wants to focus on that and that's what I was trying to explain if I had been if I had been allowed to finish speaking I just thought I just don't see it happening I don't see I go all the way to Sheffield go to the Steel City boxing gym I've never met his trainer before Smith or whoever his trainer is so someone I've never met before, I just walk in the gym and say, oh yeah, me and Sonny were talking the other day on a podcast and Sonny said I can spar him. I just don't think they would have let it happen, not right ahead of a fight. Maybe I could be wrong, but... Well, obviously I'm right. If he hasn't replied to me, I've, I've been waiting, waiting, waiting. You know, I've, I've sent him all these video messages. He doesn't want to do it ahead of a fight. I mean, I don't really take anything Sonny says seriously. This guy's a little five foot one midget. You remember the video where he was chatting rubbish about I'm Sonny Edwards and you know I was born in violence I, I'm from violence you know I'm a gangster from a London council estate well if, you're, if you've never been shot or stabbed and you've never been to prison then you're not really a gangster I mean maybe, I, maybe you could argue you're a smart gangster who's never been caught but you can see I mean obviously he's well known if, if he's been beating people up we'd have heard about it by now and he's just too physically small to... I mean, sure, in a boxing ring, you'll probably, he'll probably beat up most people, but let's just say someone like Eddie Hearn. I'd say he'll probably knock Eddie Hearn out in a ring. Like, give it nine, ten rounds, Eddie Hearn will get tired and suddenly will finish him off. But if it's in the street, I mean, a man of Eddie Hearn's size, you're not, it's going to be... It's unrealistic to say you can beat him in a street fight. And the same goes for me. Do I think I can beat Eddie Hearn in a ring? Yeah, I'd knock him out in 10 rounds because I'd just wait for him to get tired. But do I think I can take Eddie Hearn in a street fight? It's just, it's going to be very difficult. What am I going to do when he picks me up? Uh, this, is, this video is straight talk here. This is not banter or anything. I could start saying stupid things and I think I can take Eddie Hearn, but... I mean, what, if he picks me up and slams me to the ground, I, I mean, what can I do? He's much bigger and heavier. I, I can't stop him from picking me up. And if your head hits the concrete, it's a wrap. So when Sonny was saying all that stupid stuff about, oh, I'm Sonny, I'm... you're just too small. I'm not saying this in a rude way. What are you going to do when people physically pick you up and then drop you to the ground? That's how you know he's lying. Because obviously you're, you've never, obviously you've never hit the concrete. I'm guessing. Yeah, you probably hit, you probably hit the concrete when you're running. Your your knees are hitting the pavement, but your head has never slammed the concrete. 
So that's how you know he's lying when he says all that stupid stuff about being a gangster. But you've never been shot, you've never been stabbed. So it, these are all just lies. And if you know anything about the streets, and I'm, I'm not from the streets, I think people from the streets are idiots. There's nothing cool about being from the streets, it just means you're an idiot. If you're from the streets, most people from the streets are cowards, like they fight in groups of five or ten or I mean has Sunny never seen like a, a fight on YouTube so the guy's just chatting rubbish because you're not in the street generally it's not it's not always going to be one on one people are just going to jump you so he, the guy is chatting rubbish yeah a little man like that trying to go on as if he's you know who, who would I say is a street fighter if it was someone like McGregor or one of these guys I'll take them more seriously but when you get some little midget with no upper body muscle who you know who who um oh i forgot what i was gonna say oh yeah no upper body muscle who can't take people in the streets something like conor mcgregor i say conor mcgregor will knock out 99.99 percent of people in the streets but oh, i remember what i was gonna say the thing about little sonny edwards you don't even know how to kick though this is the thing you're not you're not gonna knock people up to me sonny sonny edwards will never he can't take me in a street fight I'll be, my strategy will be thing is I wouldn't try to box him in a street fight if he tried to street fight me nah, I'm not gonna box him I'll just grab hold of him I'll just my my method would be let me just choke the, the let me just strangle this little rat let me just try and get him to tap out so this is the thing someone like a, a, uh, the Conor McGregor someone like that yes these guys are dangerous in the streets but a little a little midget boxer all you're gonna do is throw punches all anyone has to do is grab a hold of you and the same goes for me, I'm 5 foot 8, 12 stone, you know, about, yeah, 12 stone right now. I'm, I'm, I can't take on men that are like 17, 18 stone in a street fight, I doubt it. You know how, you know how painful it is, yeah? If you're going to punch someone bare knuckle, you can damage your own hand. Mike Tyson once had a street fight, he punched Mitch Green with one punch in a street fight, and Mike Tyson injured his hand from one punch. So if Mike Tyson's hand can't stand up to a street fight what do you think little sonny edwards little sonny edwards man the guy weighs about the same as a chicken size of a little chihuahua dog trying to say he can oh he's dangerous out here in these streets but you've never had a street fight and the one time someone came to your gym looking for a street fight so he gets in the ring with him and all right don't get me wrong he went very very easy on the guy but you, you know it's like you can't you didn't even have the killer instinct to finish that guy off my advice is you should you someone should have just knocked that guy out and teach him a lesson not to come back but obviously you're not as cold as i am i'm not saying i'm physically the toughest person i'm not saying that but i'm a cold nature person i think they someone they should have knocked that guy out how can you just go to a world champions gym yeah you've been chatting all this rubbish online you know and you turn up someone should have put him in his place but i give the guy credit for turning up most people wouldn't and don't get me wrong, I don't mind. Ch I don't mind going to Sunny Jim's, Sunny Edwards Gym next year, but that's only because I'm not scared of him. I wouldn't. I wouldn't have the same energy for Golovkin or Javante Davis or Devin Haney or someone like Lee Wood. I wouldn't be saying stuff about him online and then turning turning up at his gym. I just think Lee Wood's capable of hurting me. I don't mind. I'll spot Lee Wood tomorrow, but so long as it's friendly. But anyway, I've said. I've said long. I've said enough. You, you get the point. I was up for it, and shout out to Base Boxing Basement. I really appreciate his involvement in this. But I told you, I knew this would happen. I just don't think a world class fighter is going to want to spar ahead, ahead of a world class fight. You know, I, I just don't see it. This bus is not coming. I might just have to walk. I'll just walk to the station. I don't really care. But bus is probably going to go past me on the way. But it doesn't matter. I just I'll just wait for it. I'll wait for it. But it's, it's, it's probably going to pass me. So Sunny Edwards, good luck with your fight. I genuinely wish. I genuinely hope you win. Not because not because I care about you. I don't really like you that much. But if you win, it's more beneficial for me. Because if you get knocked out, as funny as I would find it, you know, it's, it's easier for me to spar you than Rodriguez. Uh, I mean Rodriguez I'd have to go all the way to America and I've been before I'm gonna go again next year but it's just quicker and easier to get to Sheffield so I've said enough I'll do a few more videos before I go but yeah I'm definitely not fighting Sunny Sparring Sunny this year 
I did say this is what I was trying to explain. I'm not scared to spy the guy because I mean well, what am I scared of? He's much lighter than me. I'll keep it honest, look, he'll probably TK me in 10 rounds, I'm not gonna deny that. But once I get tired, it's a wrap. He'll just keep hitting me and hitting me and hitting me. He can probably TKO me, I'm not gonna deny that, but I'll bet he's not gonna knock me out in one or two rounds. I could be wrong, but he's just so much smaller. And where he doesn't punch, and remember, I know how to clinch. I'm, well, you think I'm gonna try and box him? I'm not gonna try and box that guy. He's much, he's quicker, he's got quicker hands, quicker feet, quicker reflexes. And once he starts doing all that shifty little rat stuff, I mean, he looks like Peter Pettigrew from Harry Potter. Once he starts doing all that little rat, rat tactics and moving his head, I'll just step away. I'm not stupid, I'm not gonna engage. Like, I'm not gonna do anything he can do, because he's a counter puncher. All I gotta do, just, just, I'll just step back. You can come to me, like you're shorter, shorter arms, you're much smaller than me. I've got 60 pounds on him. Don't get me wrong, he'll dominate every single round. I'm not denying that, but like I said, I'll just I'll kill a lot of time in there. If you watch the way I box, I probably say I'm similar to Bernard Hopkins. Like I know how to kill time, I know how to waste time. And like I say, I mean what what's he gonna do? He's gonna have to come to me. When he comes to me, I've got the longer I'll just grab him by the neck, hold him down. How are you gonna get me off you? You can't. Like the trainer's probably gonna say, alright, break, break. But it's not a fight. I can't get disqualified. So I'll just keep holding on, wasting time. You're not gonna knock me out. And even if you hit me, I've never been knocked out. I understand I haven't boxed that many times, but you're just too small and weak. See you soon, Sonny, you little rat.